let's check this uh, Seagate family uh, floating case study. And we can see uh, this is the front part of the VA arrow and it's accessible. So we, we can check the ending part of the, uh, this is the middle part of the data arrow. Let's check if the middle part is accessible or not. Now we can see uh, the middle part is not accessible. So this is one uh, also partial sector access. So let's see how to fix this one. Uh, okay. So we can check V4, uh, look it's zero. But V4 zero, we can see V4 zero has a long list. So we can try at this uh, situation to clear the end list and just check again. The translator operations uh, end list. We can clear end list and click OK in the ATM mode to clear the end list. Now we can check in the COM terminal to view the V4 zero. Now the uh, end list becomes empty. We can try to regenerate the transmitter. Okay, let's check V4 zero again. So at this time, we can check the data arrow and we just check the ending part. Sameness. Click again. So the ending part is not accessible. We can check the middle part. Some others have worked on this pension drive. Now we are checking again. <clears throat> okay. So we need to use the DFC gate <coughs> auto partial sector access. We can use this one. Uh, not LM. Okay, we can try. Wait and see. Uh, this is the auto partial sector access repair. Now we can see that the program has detected the first bad location. So this is just about 3.5 GB. And then all sectors are in the wrong location. Now the program starts to add the bad location one by one to the end list and then regenerate the translator. So this is how the program uh, repairs the partial sector access issue. We just need to wait until the repair, auto repair completes. We just uh, keep an eye on this knock window. This client has two cases, and both cases have the partial sector access problem. So let's check. Uh, this is another case, SATA. 
This is SATA-1. <coughs> and we can check SATA-0. Uh, this is SATA-1, this is SATA-0. We can see both cases have the partial sector access problem. But now we are using the auto repair to fix both cases. So after this auto repair, users can access to the data error fully. So this method or this function uh, contained within the DFSC git HD repair tool is very helpful. So we can see uh, more and more button locations have been added to the Nginx and the Regenerator's translator. Thank you for watching the video. Just need to wait.